Hey everyone, if you want to catch a hogfish on rod and reel in the Gulf, you're going to need to use a hog ball. And today, we're going to show you how to make them. Okay, so what I've got here is my ladle, my spoon, and I use this little area right here if I have to put any of the hot items down. I've got my 20 pound pot right here. I got it turned up to six and the lettuce melting in there. I'm going to have to clean up some of the stuff from the last time, which is fine. I've got my mold over here, my eyelets. And what you can see is that I've already put on swivels onto one of the eyelets. And so that after I pour my lead, this will be hanging out of the ball itself. Most importantly, I've got a mask right here. This will help keep the uh, fumes and dust out of my face. I've got my heavy duty gloves to keep my hands from getting burnt. And last but not least, I always use eye pro. Down here on the ground, you can also see that I've got a couple aluminum foil wrapped trays. What I do with those trays is once the balls are done, I'm gonna put them on there so I'm not sticking them on the ground. I try to contain all of the lead, even if it's hot until everything is cooled down uh, so that it makes cleanup real easy so that I'm not contaminating the ground. So let's get started. Okay, so now we're getting ready to pour the lead. Scott is adding the first swivel, the first eyelet that has the swivel on it and pressing it down. And then he's gonna add the second eyelet that doesn't have the swivel to the other side of the mold. You want to make sure that these are put in place pretty firmly um, by pressing down to make sure that they don't slip. Now we're going to close the mold and because this mold is too large to fit under the pot we're going to ladle the uh, lead directly into the mold. And you want to make sure that you go very slowly. Once the lead is in you want to wait probably about 20 seconds to let that cool and form before you open the mold. Once the lead is cooled enough, open the mold and gently using a butter knife, you don't want to scratch the mold so be careful, just pry the lure out and into your pan. Here we're using our pliers to add an eyelet to the swivel that had been poured in the lead. And you just slide it around, slide the ring onto the swivel. This is eventually going to hold our hook. Now that the eyelet's on, we can go ahead and add the, add the hook. Just be very careful when you're doing this because you don't want to end up with a hook in your hand. Ask me how I know. The next step in our process is to powder paint our jigs. Here we're using a heat gun just to warm it up enough so that when I dip it into the powder paint, it adheres and melts. Again, be careful, it's very hot. Force four we've done. The first one wasn't hot enough. The second one was good, and the third one came out pretty good. The fourth one, however, was a little bit too hot. You could see the smoke coming off it. So it's a delicate balance that you wanna make sure you get the temperature right. Here's our fluid bed. Right now I'm just adjusting the airflow to make sure that the powder stays nice and fluid and ready for dipping. We're gonna continue to powder coat and hang these jigs until they're all done. Once they're all done, we're gonna put them on those aluminum trays and put them in the oven at 350 degrees for 15 minutes to cure. Once the curing is done, we're going to take our adhesive eyes and just stick them on, one on each side of the hog ball for a realistic looking jig. 